In the second case scenario, we have an expert at a distant place and we have a trainee allowing the expert uh, remote access with a protected ID. And in this scenario, uh, the consultant will be creating treatment plans at a distant site and this will be executed by a student uh, who is in the room with the patient. Uh, so here we can see granting them access. At the end of the session, the consultant can safely log out so that there is a controlled access to uh, these treatment sessions. And here we can see trainee acquiring images of the retina. This is a wide angle image for treatment in retinal periphery. Now the expert who has a remote access will uh, create the treatment plan. Here we can see the protective no-fly zones and uh, the plan will include treatment of the retinal periphery. So this is uh, again done by an expert at a distant location. Once that is complete, the trainee will upload it on a live image and will execute the plan this is under direct observation of consultant. Once that is completed, uh, the system will again give us information about details of the treatment. Uh, and once that is uh, reviewed, um, the access is uh, terminated.